Hi, this is Zidane Tutorials and in this video we are going to learn how to isolate a selected object. Uh, this is also known as isolation mode in Adobe Illustrator and it's all about bringing one particular object in focus so that we can make changes just on that particular object without disturbing rest of objects in our artboard. So it's pretty simple let's see how it's done I have all these objects or shapes in my artboard as an example and let's say I just want to make some change in this particular square this one okay so all I need to do is I need to select it by clicking on it now it's selected after it is selected I need to click on this icon on the top it says isolate selected object once I will click on it here we go now you will notice all the other objects are sort of grayed out and just this particular square is in focus now so if I even if I try to click on some particular uh, some other object I won't be able to select it or make any change just this one is available to me at the moment so I can make any change uh, in peace so let's make some change in it let's just rotate it okay so uh, if this uh, if it was all I wanted to do and once my change is done I can click on this back arrow and then click on it again and we are back to our artboard where everything is available to us now and this change is executed now this was one way of executing the isolation mode or uh, isolating a selected object there is a, even a faster way of doing this and let's do that for this circle so instead of selecting the circle and going on the top I can simply double click on the circle and it will enable the isolation mode you will see it has done the same thing like before and we are in isolation mode and we can just make some change in this for this particular object once I'm done again instead of clicking on this back arrow I can simply double click on any white area and we will be back so it's pretty easy one more benefit of isolation uh, mode is that it's it's not just about bringing one particular object to focus it will also bring that object in front and let me show you what I mean by that let's assume uh, that this particular circle is overlapping this one okay so now here in this case you will see the yellow circle is on top of black circle however if I trigger the isolation mode or if I isolate this selected object which is a black circle at the moment it is in the back of uh, this yellow circle but if I double click on it I have uh, enabled or triggered the isolation mode and here you will notice it has appeared in the front and it is not actually in the front we have not uh, changed the arrangement it is still in the back of uh, yellow circle but just for the sake of isolation mode it has appeared on the top or in the front so that we can make whatever change we want and let's say we want to make it smaller so once my change is done I will click on white area and once I will exit the isolation mode you will notice it will again go back to its position which is uh, in the back of the shadow circle at the moment it's in front I will double click on the white area and here we go you will see how it has again moved back to its original position so that's all about isolation mode and uh, how to enable uh, uh, this feature and how to execute this I'm sure it it's pretty helpful for, uh, for all designers especially where there is a, there are a lot of cluttered uh, objects in our design this is an easy example and you may not find some sort of application of this uh, in this particular example uh, but in many cases where you have hundreds of layers in your artboard and a lot of them are overlapping each other and in complicated designs this feature is going to help you a lot because it will enable you to just 
uh, edit some particular object without disturbing rest of your artboard uh, in other in uh, another way of doing that would be to just lock other layers so that will take a lot of time so this one is faster and it's easier so I've shown you both ways of doing that either by going on the top with this icon or by just simply double clicking on any object so that's it for now I hope this video was helpful to you have a nice day thank you